What is up, Pepe Army? Welcome back to my crypto journey. Of course, my name is Roddy. Do me a favor and smash that like button if you did not doubt Pepe. And let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this price action? We are pumping up 20% on the day after we had a really bad day yesterday. Of course, all the crazy drama going on in the cryptocurrency space when it comes to the SEC, suing Coinbase, suing Binance, and that caused a massive sell-off yesterday, but we are seeing a fat recovery, especially in Pepe. Let me move my dumb face here for a second, and we have a nice little 20% price pop on the day. I hope you bought the dip because your boy did, because when it comes to cryptocurrency, guys, it's like, we're going to have red days. We're going to have days where things don't happen and we're going to have massive days like this and this just started pumping within the last i don't know 10 minutes or so we are starting to see the market starting to recover because at the end of the day right when it comes to cryptocurrency and this drama going on it's just a small blip in the radar it's a bump in the road and these things happen you have to be able to hold or buy the dip in pro for products that you believe in right not every you know purchase for a cryptocurrency is a good purchase not every cryptocurrency is going to be here for a long time but there are some that are going to stand the test of time and i do believe that pepe is going to be one of those can i predict the future no do i know what's going to happen uh with uh, crypto next month no nobody does but when you look at the stability of a project the community the things that keep these projects like running it seems that pepe has all of those things right so do me a favor smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you like being here because i make pepe content every single day regardless of what's going on in the market like it doesn't matter if it's a red day, a green day, a day where we're trading sideways, you're going to get some sort of Pepe content from me. So smash the like button and let's get into the video. And to be honest, guys, there's not a lot of news. Now, Pepe posted this uh, meme yesterday after this, you know, Binance was sued by um, the SEC, right? And it's pretty much a Pepe losing its mind. And today, of course, they put this like this face, you know, this kind of like, ugh, you know, face for a Pepe when we got word that, you know, the SEC was charging uh, you know, Coinbase for, you know, issuing unregistered securities and pretty much deceiving American investors and those sorts of things, right? Now, what I don't like to see is is there's a few big Pepe influencers in the space, most notably Polly, right? Which is very entertaining on Twitter, but it's like we don't need like the hate against Coinbase. I know that Coinbase did put out an anti Pepe article with that whole alt right thing. And the Polly's like, you know, roasting Coinbase. But you have to understand that Coinbase has to is very selective about who they put on their exchange. And I think he's just, you know, engagement farming and talking trash, but they're very selective on what they put on their exchange. And they're not going to list Pepe yet. They're going to wait till Pepe spends some time in the market so it can stand the test of time. Because the truth is, not a lot of these cryptocurrency products are going to stand the test of time. Pepe is less than two months old, and it's done a lot in 60 days, but it still needs to earn some respect in the space. Binance is a little more liberal about who they list on their exchange, right? Because it's Binance, Binance.com. They can do whatever they want. Notice that Pepe wasn't listed on Binance US. It was listed on Binance.com, right? Huge difference between both those two entities. So Coinbase is going to be very selective, especially now that they're being sued on who they list. So I'm not mad about Coinbase or at Coinbase for writing that article. It wasn't like the CEO of Coinbase wrote that article. It was a person that does their newsletter. So we have to support Coinbase in the situation. We have to make sure we come together and support the cryptocurrency space because right now we're fighting one battle and that's against Gary Gensler and the SEC, right? We have to come together. Meme coins, ISOs, blue chips, whatever. Bitcoin, Maxis, whatever you are, we have to come together for the future of DeFi and the future of cryptocurrency to bring the fight to, you know, these regulators and just fight the good fight so we can have some sort of place in this world where we could still buy meme coins, right? Now, it's good to see the cryptocurrency market recovering. I can't say we can say the same about a lot of the meme coins that I have on my watch list because the truth is, yes, some of them are pumping, but a lot of them are not, right? And it looks like, well, a lot of them are actually pumping right now, but there are still some that are rugged and they probably will never come back. And that's okay, right? Only a few will stand the test of time. So when it comes to aping and meme coins and those sorts of things, guys, make sure you follow some rules. And I, and I love this, right? I love this. And I know a lot of you guys watching this are just in the Pepe, but a lot of you guys are aping into other meme coins. And what I like about Pepe is that they don't really have any of these. And I'll explain right now once I find that post that I posted yesterday. 
because I think it's a really important message. And I said, I don't care how great of an influencer you are. Of course, I'm an influencer, but I watch other people. I said, I don't care how based a developer is. I don't care what your technical about your technical analysis. I don't care about the church likes uh, worshiping Twitter spaces. I always pay myself and stick to my plan, even with Pepe. When Pepe hit a billion dollar market cap, I took profits. I, you have to. Any cryptocurrency, because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. These could all rug, right? If, if anything, this situation has showed us the SEC just kind of does what they want, and this could cause a mass sell-off in the market. So always pay yourself, because you never know when you're going to get that generational wealth if you make it, right? Again, I have, I've heard so many stories of people being up 100x, 1,000x on a cryptocurrency, and they hold it all the way down to the bottom because some a-hole on YouTube, like me, told them to. Or some developer told them it was going to be the next best thing since sliced bread. But what I like about Pepe is that they don't have some developer promising us the world. It's just a regular meme coin with no use case that pumps because it's a community token. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited for this price action? Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm interested to hear your opinion. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Peace.